All right, so David. Good What's to see up, you. handsome? And Jason. What's up, man? Welcome to the car. We're gonna go get barbecue. Hey, you know barbecue gives my brother gas. Oh, great. Whatever. Dude. Bad well, gas. Well, we can, we'll crack the windows. What you're up to these days? Well, I'm six two. Uh, one of you is one inch taller, right? Yep, that's me. No, David. he's a he's a quarter inch taller. No, I'm a full inch taller. You know what you got that we don't have? What's that? You got you got a little bit of this. You hey, got that. but dynamite comes in small packages, Pete. That's right. So now I've got your first three books. Your fourth book, give me your elevator. Fourth book is uh, entitled "What Keeps You Up at Night." You're talking about fear, right? Yep. Facing your fear. That theme is so needed today, yeah. more than ever. Just yeah, looking at huge. what's happening. How many times in the Bible does the Lord say, don't fear? Do you know? He says that command more than any other command. Yeah. Yeah. With a book titled, What Keeps You Up at Night, that must mean you went through something yourself. You know, I, I think there have been a lot of seasons um, for me that I've found myself just at night, just <laughs> lots of situations and circumstances kind of running through my head. And the more I can remind myself there's a God, it's not me. There's a God, it's not me. The more I can begin to release those things and feel a, feel a sense of peace. Do you talk about this in your book in terms of how to overcome fear? Yeah, we talk a lot about this idea that the goal is not to fear less. The goal is to trust more. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's awesome. I can honestly say I've never eaten it. Barbecue. Okay. Like well, sampler basket? Is that what we need to hit? How about three of those uh, sampler baskets, please? That was very kind. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> You're the man. That's... That's... All right. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks, buddy. Jesus, okay. we love you, and Pete did not pray before he started eating. So, Lord, that piece of food that's in his belly, redeem it, God. Please. Somehow, some please. way, Lord, just thank you. Yes. Lord, we love you. This barbecue is amazing. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm. I hope I don't get this on my sweater. Oh, man, you know what? Yeah. So, Whatever the Cost is your book that just came out. Yeah. And it basically is what you're talking about. It's laying out your your principles for what you guys right. have built a successful business on. Yeah. Right? And it added in the component of facing your fears yeah. and um, simply standing and facing that which you're most scared of. And uh, when you face your fear, you realize that your greatest blessing comes on the other side of that. I mean, you want to live powerfully right. Yeah, you got absolutely. a powerful sweater on. Well, you guys have been incredibly kind to give up uh, some of your time and come hang out. You've you been incredibly me? kind in the fact that you let us sit here and bash you for quite a while. <laughs> no. You may never wear that sweater again. No, no he'll hey, wear it again. You know what? Yeah, hey, you were really nice because you. we got in the car, you handed us your man card, and yes, now right. it's time for us to give and back. We just, thank you. We thank just you. beat it and <laughs> smashed on it. I'm gonna, listen, I'm going to see if I can find the sweater in y'all size, and, and I'm going to mail you the sweater. <laughs> well, yeah. Next time we're in Tennessee, you let us buy. All right, I'll do it. Thanks, Good hanging guys. out with you, buddy. Awesome. awesome. I don't care what Jason says about you behind your back. I'm with you. I, I know you are. I know you are. Right, Thanks, buddy. guys. Y'all are awesome.